Welcome back to another YouTube video from Scrap Car Recycling UK. As I said yesterday, uh, the chat with the Toyota Hilux, he uh, he actually rung us back up and he accepted the price that we bid him. So we picked that up and here she is. An O2 plate, 2.4 diesel. There's big stupid tyres on it. <laughs> it's MOT till December, runs and drives fine. Just wants the brakes looking at. But this these are... Uh, do export well to Africa, so this is probably where it's going to end up going. Uh, if not, I've, I've actually got a local farmer coming to have a look at it today. Might do a deal on a recovery truck with him, with it. The camper van passed its test, flying colours. Only advisory was uh, prop shaft bearing, but apart from that, it's bob on. I'm expecting to need some welding, but she's clean as a whistle, so we're ready to go in that end of April. But yeah, the Toyota Hilux. looks. Nice Jeep it is, manual, up to 140,000 miles. So if the uh, farmer doesn't want it, it is up for sale. Take two grand for it, if anyone's interested. Full logbook and all that, carry on. Anyway, first thing to do this morning, I'm going to drive over to EMR, get this Peugeot lifted off and get it weighed in, straight back and get the new winch fitted. Because we've got cars coming out of his ears and we need to get them in before the price drops. And we need to make some more money. Uh, appreciate all the followers and all the subscriptions and all that carry on. And the likes and the comments. Keep them coming. So we'll see you at the scrapyard when we wear this Persia in. Also I forgot to mention people that we sold the BSA B31 yesterday. As you see it's gone. Still got a few more bikes to get rid of. Uh, I'm just going to have a sift through the bits that we sold on eBay. Get them parts uh, wrapped and sent off to customers. Need to get some space back in here. My man cave's gone all to uh, all down the drain. Can't even have a beer in here now. It's full of stuff. But these are more important than beer. So yeah, need to get uh, the parts picked out, get them wrapped, sent off to the customers. We don't want no happy, uh, unhappy customers or bad feedback. So I'm gonna have a quick bit of breakfast, and then that's the first thing I'm gonna get done today. Welcome back, everybody. This is the winch that we bought. It's a Samurai Warrior, £9,500. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, S9500. Uh, S Comes with all these accessories. It's basically the identical winch to what's on, isn't it? Yeah, identical, but we're just trying to figure out how to unbox this bugger now. So well, I'll lose it. We've welded the nuts underneath, so I think it might be a case of trying to get the grinder in. If we can get them off. But I'm going to check the new winch in a minute, open it up. Yeah. And well, let's get it open, let's get it open points, now, innit? Where the mounting points are in here. Have you got some snips? There, I think, or a Stanley Nath. Stanley Nath would be better, Dean. Stanley Nath, bud. Someone uh, just dropped this cat off as well. We just bought this cat off a, a lad who's turned up. Off a diesel rover. Let's have a look inside it. We're going to chap up where I was here now to have a look at this uh, oh, I look, so I'm going to show well, him around that. There's nuts and bolts in with this one, so... Oh, there's nuts and bolts, real do. That's good. Right, well, we'll be back with you shortly when we're unbolting this winch. I'm going to see this uh, customer now. Well, the chap's been, he's took some photos, he's sent it off to his friend. I think it's, he's interested in it in Ghana. You can't make these old Toyotas. It's why I show you around it. It's an old work bus like. But anyone who knows he's... Uh, these buses know that they run on forever. The only problem we found with it is that it needs the brakes bleeding up on it. I don't think it'll be a big job. 144, which is nothing for these. 2.4. It's been hand painted like. But that's the least of its worries. I'll show you engine now if I can get my hand on it. Well, this buddy thing it buddy way. One sec, there we are. 2 litre, 2.4 uh, turbo, dries a bone under there, starts on the button, nice tyres on it, there's another guy actually coming from, from Burnley to come and have a look at it as well, so it might even stay local, I'm not bothered whoever comes with a cash, text it, 
This is the uh, Astro State that we picked up the other day. Petrol one. Another petrol one. Another petrol one. That's petrol. We've got a well, guys, we've got the winch off. It took a bit of a longer than we expected because we were welded from underneath, but she's off now. Uh, we're just going to have a bit of a clean off and sweep off. You can see it here, all brand new, ready to go on. So, Luke and Simon now are going to fit this whilst I stand and watch. <laughs> the eye looks are just gone. That's gone. So, that's another bit of money back in the bank. So, we need to take this winch on now because we've got to get rid of these cars. Back with you very shortly. Well, that's a winch in place. It's not bolted down yet. The nuts he sent with it, just not long enough, so I have to send Dean to a local, um, whatever fucking factors they are. Sorry about the swearing. Whatever factors they are to go and get some more bolts, tool shop. That's to be about another inch longer than that. Um, quite a pain in the arse to get off, really. Uh, had to get a big hammer on it and all sorts because they welded nuts underneath, and you can't get to them, I'll show you now. Under here, well, you've got a fuel tank and a prop shaft in your way. I'll take you under actually. Exhaust. And it bolts under there. So, not the easiest to get to on this truck, but not a big deal. So, we need about another inch longer or something like that to get brought steel plates. Actually, not a bad belt bed, really, these sap coat bodies. They're actually decent. I'd definitely get another one. Old Mercedes underneath. If you're buying one of these vans, if you want to check, I'll tell you some checkpoints. Check the inner and outer sills on them because they do rust um, both sides outriggers shocker tops things like that and the common engine things with these is uh, injectors they either start leaking and chuffing they call it the black death it goes like treacle and tar around them they're hard to get the injectors out of so if you do hear your Mercedes doing the chuffing noise will start getting a bit hard to start I'd uh, definitely be getting them checked or if it smells of diesel when you're running it you can smell diesel fumes coming through injectors are under here uh, they are common for it but apart from the injectors and maybe an egg gasket or two they're uh, not actually a bad truck this one's up to nearly 300,000 miles this one and it starts every day and does its job and not leaking oil and water so yeah I'd, I do rate these trucks I like them I always used to have transit but like I say, I won't have a, another Ford now. The, the old Transit DR were the best one. But they're long it tooth now. They've all gone and people are restoring them now. They're worth a fortune. So, on to the Mercedes. And we'll go back to a new Transit. So, I'll let you know when Dean gets back. And we've fitted the winch on. I'll show you all up and working. We've got a good few cars to pick up as well. Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, the winch is now fitted nice and tightly. I'm working. Oh, this is good enough. Oh, nice. That I hope it's as good as that old one. So we're going to test it on this uh, Black Astro Estate now. We're going to get it winched on and get it to the scrapyard and get it back, making some money. Nice and brand new. See how long this one lasts, Ellie. Yeah, it's stronger. Just come off the bottom yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I can pass off. Right, I'll reverse down to that. Right. Well, guys, we're going to give it a test now, pulling this Vauxhall Astro up. We've uh, got the cat ready. Let's see how she goes. She's a lot faster than the other one, but we'll see what she's like when. What fast that one is? No problem. I recommend getting one of these winches if you need a new one. As easy as that. She's on. Well, we're going to get this weighed in for Friday, and then that's going to be us. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Be much appreciated. Tomorrow, me and Luke are going to weigh the non ferris in and do a bit of a Saturday non ferris uh, big haul. So, we'll see you on the next one, guys.